Welcome home, Raiders. This week, the race to world first has ended. We'll make sure to give you all the details. Are racials really all that? And we're also going to chat up some heroes of the storm. This is CTR number 189. You're listening to Convert to Raid. Convert to Raid. The podcast for Raiders in the world of Warcraft. Podcast Power Station in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today is July 24, 20, what is it? 26th? <laughs> God, I really should check the show notes before I start the show. It is now 11.14 a.m. Central Time. Thank you so much for joining us from all around World of Warcraft land. And hello, my name is Pat Crane. I am the host of this little shindig. And I am known as Zug around Airy Peak. I did not raid this week. I will admit that freely. Uh, the players are here, and uh, we should get to those guys. Much more important than me not raiding. So let's go to California, to Earthquake Central, as we're finding out. It is Darius. I kind of like this show every two weeks thing that we're doing lately. It's, uh, it's a nice refreshing break after, you know, years and years and years of, of pulp. And I, I need that. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> need a little bit of a break. All right. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, so we'll go to uh, Kansas. Kansas? Yeah, we're going to go to Kansas. Oh. We're going to go see our good friend Gizmo. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Missouri. It's Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. Not that filthy Kansas City, Kansas. No. Yeah, we have hills. We have hills and uh, objects other than cows. I don't know. Awesome. Good baseball, good baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the show, Giz. Uh, and for those guys who don't know about you, you actually are a podcaster. You don't podcast about World of Warcraft. You play with Darius, though, right? Yes, and, yes. So, I am on the Convert to Mythic team. So, so uh, what do you play on the on the Convert to Mythic team? I am one of our uh, million hunters that we have. So. <laughs> The number's have, up to 37 now. So. Really? 37? Just hunters? I don't know where they come from. It's wow. happened in an Asparagus Initiative as well. It's just I know. hunters. It's just, they, they just have their own group. It's usually the group with no health, but they have their own group, you know, their party, their own party. Right. right. Games. We, actually have, we actually have a hunter's union, so we all, we, we have to come together before uh, we decide who goes to what raid team and everything, so. <laughs> right. Right. So many of you guys. And, and you're all playing marks now, right? Is that the way it goes? Um, we still have one playing Beastmaster. Okay. Uh, which is nice because there's so many uh, multi-target fights. So he right. holds that stuff down for us. And nobody's playing survival. Nope. No. Nope. Unfortunately. No. Nope. Uh, so tell us about the the podcast that you do, Giz. What what's it called? What what do you talk about? What do you what's what's going on with it? Uh, so the podcast is called Lords of the Storm. It is a Heroes of the Storm podcast, and um, yeah, it's just me and a couple more friends uh, known as the Zord Lords, hence the Gizmo Zord, mm -hmm. getting together and talking about some heroes. So we do that. It is a weekly show for you guys. Cool. And uh, and so you guys just started uh, not too long ago, actually. You started uh, last year, right? February this year. Oh, February so, this year. Yep. Um, and so how are you liking here? Obviously, you're liking it. But uh, how are you liking heroes? And do you have favorite heroes that you're doing right now? Uh, yeah, I am loving heroes, which is surprising because I've tried out other, uh, MOBAs like league and stuff. Absolutely hated it. I know. And I think the reason this grabbed me is one, I got in, I got in like the, the first wave of alpha. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I also knew who the heroes were <clears throat> when they were coming in for the game, uh, as opposed to league. I tried playing league and they have like over a hundred champions. I have no idea who they are. I don't know who to play. So these heroes, I pretty much have a good idea what they're going to do when they come out right. and uh, fell in love with it. But my main heroes uh, right now are Kael Thass, the Butcher, and Sylvanas. Ah, the Butcher. Now, I, I, okay, so I, I play a little bit of heroes. Darius, you don't really, do you? I play heroes. 
he's my sometimes sometimes my pocket but but it's like but it's like you just kind of like get carried all the time right no i do the carrying as i usually do to (laughs) giz in raids i usually carry giz when i play heroes gotcha you know when giz wants to win a bunch of games it's usually you know he asks me sure but uh (laughs) sure (laughs) uh yeah there he's all uh wow you're letting Darius be right don't do it. Don't don't fall into it's a I'm, trap. Uh, <laughs> everyone here knows. You can't change your mind now. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the show. And uh, from my experience, by the way, uh, playing Butcher is either goes really really well or really really bad. Yes, and it is all because of his uh, onslaught. If is people that the, is that the, the trait char- or whatever? No, it's his charge. Oh, and okay. oh, a lot of people yeah. like to use that just to use it. And they get into really bad spots and they die. Because he just charges wherever. I mean, you select the you select the hero you want to kick and and uh, he's you going just go. You and can you, cancel it. You can uh, yes, but you have to wait a couple seconds, which uh, is why a lot of people didn't know that. But a I lot did, of people don't cancel it. Right. I need to figure out how to cancel it because <laughs> I'm the guy who gets put into bad positions with the butcher. It's like you'll you'll cast it and then immediately you'll know no 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 I don't want to do that <laughs> right right no I gotta get out of this um <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna get blown up so uh let's talk a little bit about WoW though let's talk uh, uh what what's been going on this week for you guys and I know that um you know being on convert to mythic you probably are already done considering we know that the race to world first is over and obviously you guys won yeah, yeah. um so so how was it how was winning. Uh, it, Dar- was, it, <laughs> it, it was good, you know, now that now that we're done the mythic race to world first, you know, we're mm-hmm. taking a break. Right. And uh, yeah, it was uh, a lot of sleepless. I mean, in all honesty, we only raided about an hour a day and we still managed to beat everybody else. But that's, that's pretty cool. You know, that's a lot cool. of raiding. Yeah, five hours a week. Yeah. No, five seven? hours a week. <laughs> How many days in a week? <laughs> five, five hours a week. Uh, that's it. That's all you need to to be world first. So yeah, congratulations. I mean, yeah, the content's gotten a lot easier. No, uh, uh, seriously, what what are, what are you guys <laughs> doing on the team? We are currently ten of thirteen heroic. Um, we Thursday we raid Thursday Sunday, and this Thursday we cleared all ten. Um, so we are tonight raiding again, and uh, we'll be working on the last three, which we've we've done as a team, um, or kind of parts of the team on normal. So I've got pretty high hopes. That we'll be able to do it on on heroic. We we know the strat that we're going to use and all that kind of stuff. We've got some good experience. So good. good. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we've been moving right along. You know, uh, the healers carrying the hunters, and then uh, right. rest of the raid doing pretty well. Of course, of course. So. Uh, and uh, so Giz, you put you put up with this two times a week. Really, you put up with that guy? Well, he said it's the healers carrying. Uh, you know, the hunters and the rest of the group, which is. It's right. There, we have some great healers. That does not include the guys who just put <laughs> bubbles over people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Darius doesn't actually heal anything, so yeah. we can't we can't have that be an actual yeah. healer. So he's just a no, bubbler. Better than a healer. He's a bubbler. Bubble. Better than a healer. yeah, yeah. I don't know. In Wisconsin, that's that means uh, drinking fountain. Believe it or not, bubbler does. <laughs> I don't bubbler. Know. It's weird. It's weird. I don't understand Wisconsin. Uh, so. <laughs> So, uh, like I said uh, at the top of the show, I did not raid this week. Uh, Good to the Last Drop did. Uh, they're doing fantastic. We only raid three right. hours a week. And I heard they super did better casual. this week without you. Probably. Fact. Probably, yes. because they didn't have my either my crappy DPS or my crappy healing. So, we're, right. we're good. My, and my, by the way, my DPS is really that bad. <laughs> I need to I've t- also heard that. I need to talk to Tatva. Really? about feral and and what it can do because i am not doing it whatever it is that it can do i am not doing it at all i got a letter from mike morheim and he was like hey can you talk to zug right i'm really bringing down the the entire franchise with with my bad deeds wow look bad so (laughs) i've been doing that for four years man (laughs) i've been doing making wow look bad for four years that's weird to, to think about but uh yeah yeah What's new? It should um, be our new tagline. Convert to raid. We make la- WoW look bad. That's right. That is actually a really good tagline. I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, say, I wanted to bring up, up a couple of things before we actually get into the news stuff. And one of the things is that um, 
the uh, the well played party, the BlizzCon party, is actually going to be a thing. Oh, I didn't bring up the. There we go. Uh, so it's kind of cool. Well played party is going to be happening at BlizzCon this year, uh, the Friday night of BlizzCon. So after the first day, you can go and and grab some cocktails, meet up with some friends, uh, and have some fun with us. Uh, I think it's going to be seven uh, seven o'clock start time. I believe. Um, I they they don't let me know these things anymore. No. They We're said, on the outside. I said, I said, hey, can you take care of it? And they said, yeah, but you will know nothing about this party now. So that's they're, good. But they're not actually telling us where it is either. No, no, no not at all. I know it's going to be the. I don't the Hilton think they ballroom. want us to be there. It's going to be in the Hilton, Hilton Ballroom, so second floor, uh, and it'll be really, really cool. And um, I just want to thank everybody for uh, your donations for making the Kickstarter work. Not only did it work, we hit a couple of different stretch goals, including the live stream, which is really cool because that means that everybody yeah. that isn't going to BlizzCon can come to the to our party and uh, celebrate with us and 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 join us. So please, uh, I hope that if you're not going to BlizzCon, you you can. Come over and watch the live stream, and we'll have more info as we get closer to BlizzCon on that stuff. So it's very, very cool. And Giz, you'll like this uh, for uh, raising some funds for the Kickstarter. Uh, I was doing some sh- some uh, broadcasting of some uh, hot matches, so I was doing some heroes streaming. And nice, it was- yeah. Actually, uh, I played a couple games that you and Jules were casting. Oh, uh, that's right. You were in there. I, I'm I'm glad you, <laughs> you guys were. Woo! You guys were a little. That well, spice <laughs> yeah, I was I I was maybe into the sauce a little bit, <laughs> a little. It's well, it's, it's more fun that way for me. I'm trying to make it fun for everybody, for, fun for you, fun for me. You know, might get into the sauce a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Is it not a fun game to cast, though? <sighs> so, so fun. So fun. Like going into uh, into observer mode and like clicking on all the things. And Jules was actually um, she was uh doing all the steering of the camera for the stream. And then I was like, click, uh, you know, I was tabbing up to make sure what talents people were picking and, and looking at some of those things and kind of explaining some things along the way uh, for those guys that might not play a lot. And it was just, it was a riot. I want to do more of that. That's cool. It was not riot. It was blizzard. Riot (laughs) Riot. is the other game. (laughs) Right. That is a good point. Right. Have you, uh, Giz, have you done any uh, broadcasting of that stuff? Any yes, streaming? we actually, our podcast, uh, about every month, two months, we host our own uh, Hots tournament. It's a 2v2, like middle lane only tournament, mm-hmm. uh, which is a blast. And me and TBK usually uh, cast for that. So it's a lot of fun. It's cool. I, I really enjoy that. It's um, it's just, it's so fun and, and you can follow along pretty easily. I mean, it's, when, when I, so when I watch like WoW Arena, I'm always like, okay, they're hitting buttons and nobody's dying and nobody's doing anything and whatever. And and then you go over to Heroes and it's all about strategic positioning and making sure that you're making wise choices when it comes to all of your abilities. And, you know, especially when you fire off your ultimate, whatever that that is, then, you know, that's another specific choice that you have to be very clear about making. So it's it's pretty cool. Yes, absolutely. It's all about the wombo combos for casting. Ooh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, uh, anything else uh, before we get into the news that you guys want to talk about? Because I have one other thing. I'm just glad that uh, for the well played party that we we raised or they raised over twelve thousand dollars, but yeah, they were just shy of the fourteen thousand dollar mark. Yeah, which was the that we would have to wear kilts, right? Um, I was really glad that we did not hit that. <laughs> right. Uh, and there was also like a this, you know, huge ultimate stretch goal of like 25 grand for an open bar and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. going, if I'm going to wear a kilt, I really want the open bar. Yeah, the so. open bar should have been first. <laughs> and <then> the kilt. <laughs> if the open bar happened, I think the kilts would have would, would have happened anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I don't guys. I would have found a kilt probably if there is an open bar. <laughs> sure. BlizzCon is anything like last year for me. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. BlizzCon is a fun time though. So if you're if you're coming out to BlizzCon, make sure to go to the party. And if you're not going to BlizzCon, make sure to stream the party. You'll see everybody in kilts and all the mm-hmm. crazy stuff that's no, going on. I am not wearing a kilt. No, me either. 
I've never worn one. I don't think that uh, I don't think that now's the time. Either. <laughs> no, this is not a good time to start. No, no. I mean, you know, it's like mm, no, mm -mm, no. I'm I'm I don't want to. You know, my legs are very white. I don't want people to like get blinded from from my legs. Uh, I don't know. All right, we should probably move on. Yes, we stuff. should. We should. <laughs> and I want to. Well, and I want to do. Uh, we have a new uh, bit that we're going to try out. So this guy. Uh, his name is Cragmar. He uh, approached me and said, "Hey, I've got uh, an idea for a thing, and wondering if you could throw me a couple of, you know, a couple of little pieces of your voice, do a little VO for it, and he'll put it together and all this kind of stuff." So I gave him the voice. I said, oh, "Okay, sure, you know, here, just take it." And um, uh, he's on Twitter at Cragmar PhD. I don't know what he's a doctor in. Uh, but I want to let you guys hear this and I'll just play down the, uh, one of them and maybe I'll do a second one too right before we get into the news. Here we go. Deep Thoughts with Craig Marr. Do not cry because it is over. Smile because you are covered in your enemy's blood. For the Horde! This has been Deep Thoughts with Cragmar. So I'm not sure what I think about that. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think about that at all. But uh, but thanks, Cragmar, for, for all that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to play a second one because I want people to get a feel for it. You guys tell me if you like it, and then I'll cut the guy off if you don't. If you don't like it, I'll just say, you know what? You can't do anymore. Uh, so here's another one. Uh, yeah, we'll do this one. Here we go. Deep Thoughts with Cragmar. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I will give any beholder who doesn't like my transmog an axe to the skull. This has been Deep Thoughts with Cragmar. Deep Thoughts. <laughs> I don't know. It gives you a lot to is. think about. Yeah, it really does. It, does. it it's really deep. does. It's it's very deep. Deep. <laughs> all right, let's go into the raiding news. Calling all raiders from around the world of Warcraft land. This is raiding news. All right, it's time to check out what's happening in the news for raiders around World of Warcraft land. And first up, we do have to talk about this because it's big, big news. Uh, actually, Method wins. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Uh, so it took three resets, but Method finished first, uh, killing Archmond, and uh, it was there were a bunch of people like right in there, ready to pounce. Right? I mean, where do we stand, Darius? Do you have the current numbers of where we stand with uh, with the race? Yeah, it's there's only three. It's Method, Paragon, and Exorcist. They're all thirteen of thirteen Mythic, uh, but Midwinter from scratch, Rapid Eye Movement. Um, the stars, uh, AFKR. I'm not sure. There's there's a huge list. It's it's uh it's twenty something guilds long that are twelve of thirteen. So yep, and limit um, is right in that uh, top ten as well, and and yeah. that's kind of like the Blood Legion esque. Uh, it's the same server, and I think that some of the guys, some of the guys from Blood Legion are in it too. So yep, um, the, so that's cool. The new vodka is eleven of thirteen. There's there's a bunch of guilds right in there. Cool, so. cool. I think Midwinter and maybe From Scratch have had more time on it than almost everyone else, though. Well, and that's funny because, I mean, if you uh, follow a method like I do, you know what their wipe counter was like, right? <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to show it right now. Here's their wipe counter. So we have Hellfire Assault, nothing. We ha And then we go to... That's, yeah. Then no we wipes on Hellfire Assault. Guys, is this really no. mythic? Right. <laughs> Right. And then and then when they get to the last boss, when they get to Archimonde, 472 wipes. <laughs> oh, my that's, God. That's pretty good. Um, uh, Exorcist, they posted their wipe count as well. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. And theirs was even higher. They were up into, I think, the five or six hundreds on oh, Archimonde. Geez. I thought we saw one that was in the seven hundreds uh, that somebody maybe that was maybe I, that was them. Yeah, maybe after five hundred, you just give up. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, 
That's a lot of wipes. I mean, we we went through, you know, maybe a hundred in uh, in uh, the asparagus group for a couple of different bosses. But I mean, geez, and that was tough. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of wipes. Oh, I found oh, the, uh, the Exorcist one. It a was a lot of wipes. They wiped. Let's see here. They wiped on <clears throat> uh, Arkham on seven hundred and forty times. Oh geez, that's yeah. like a shot to the shot to the Seven, pants. Seven hundred and forty times, Manor off two hundred and thirty times, two hundred and sixty times, which is more than double what Method did. Oh, um, there's actually so. there's a a picture and a video out there of Paragon wiping at one percent uh, the pull before Method killed Mythic Archimon. <laughs> In a one percent wipe right before, like oh. ten minutes later, Method killed Mythic. Um, right. And as I mean, as soon as Method got it, Paragon just logged off. You know, they were done. There's no more reason to rush. Does 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 this seem unusual for the amount of wipes? I don't know what the normal amount of what normal no, is for this. Not really. Group. That's um. I mean, we saw numbers in the you know in the the mid hundreds for almost every n tier boss and archimond is you know he's he's no joke like all the other mythic n tier bosses but mm-hmm. um this is pretty common it's uh it's the the jump from some of these bosses like shadow lord iskar they wiped five times and then mm-hmm. you know manaroth they wiped 120 times that's a little bit strange you know wiping you know only five times on a boss like that on you know boss in the middle is a little odd but the the final numbers you know 500 is about common Oof. for for the first team or so let's think so. uh for like rags it was 700 or 800 or something oh like that god <laughs> no thanks <laughs> this is this is why i don't raid mythic guys this is why i'm not of part of a world first team or anything like that no thanks i don't want to spend giz what do you think about this whole race thing uh <laughs> First off, mine just blown by those numbers. That's ridiculous. I right, remember that. Right. I feel like uh, back in Mists, the cats in the Mogushan Vault. I mm-hmm. think I had like 170 wipes on, and I was about to Jeez. do terrible things to cats. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> but no, I think it's great that I mean there was it was a close race for a while, and uh, yeah, I it was exciting. I liked yeah. it. I still want to see Midwinter. Good old uh, U.S. team. We need to get that number and one. And good old Alliance team, too. They got to represent. Actually, actually, they did. And I always kind of consider, like, as soon as somebody crosses the finish line, you got to take a snapshot of that. Um, because after somebody crosses the finish line, there's and usually not a big fight for second, right? Yeah, no. I mean, it's usually like they finish out their raid time and then they go, okay, we're going to go to re- reduced hours because we have to get back to work and yeah, that I mean, kind of stuff. It's like I said. Paragon logged out as soon as Method killed theirs. They were they're just all right. We're done. You know, right. we'll kill it when we kill it. But, yeah, and that, I mean, they also they're not worried about pushing. They'll go back and clear through again to get more gear, and it yeah, makes gear so right, right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot of wipes. That's a uh, I've been is. getting mad at converts to Mythic for the wipes we have because raid food is getting so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> gotta stop wiping, but God, you can't complaining wipe. about the cost of food, Darius. Mm. Oh That's yeah, expensive. you hit a million gold Gosh. or whatever. That's I have two thousand right now. Two thousand gold. Stop losing at gambling. <laughs> <laughs> or stop wiping. <laughs> you gotta. How many times are you gambling in a in a session now? Is it still just we, once, or is it like no? We now do it now? for every wipe. We do it. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's that's what we're supposed to be doing is every way. It's, it's it's punishment. What's what's the add-on called? For the guys that don't uh, know out there, there's a there's an add-on that will allow you to gamble with your raid team. Yeah, it's uh the the old one was GCG Gentlemen's Club Gambler, but there's a bunch of uh clones out there now that are better that have been updated. But uh basically it's for every wipe or specifically wipe on trash is uh we do a big one. Right. Um I know but, that I have n- I have only participated once when it was for something other than gold. And we just did it to, for the winner or something like I can't remember exactly. Oh yeah, I think we gave away a mount or a pet or something. Yeah, yeah. So that was the only time that I ever like did it because I was always so poor. And then, and then my garrison gold kept rolling in, and I'm like going, "All right, cool, I like it." So that's now dried up. <laughs> yeah, that's now dried up. So I'm back to not gambling at all. Um. So uh, with all those different wipes, I do want to play down one thing. 
Uh, and that is uh, the nerd screams from Method when they killed Archimonde. Um, and it's it's pretty fun. I mean, and especially after think about this wiping four hundred and seventy two times Ugh. and then finally getting to that point where you kill the boss, it, it especially in such a short period of time, because it was three resets. So it was only like a couple of weeks, right? Two and a half weeks. Yeah. Um, and so here are their ner- nerd screams from Method right here. Come on, come on, come on. Don't kill it. Come I quit the weapon. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so uh, (laughs) so we'll cut it off there. Uh, They they're happy. Yeah, I think they were. I think they were really thrilled, uh, which is great. And I think that um, some of the guys maybe didn't get that uh, we do a clean show, or we try. We do a mostly clean show. (laughs) So I had to go in and kind of edit a little bit <laughs> but fun stuff i mean i remember when we killed like uh L- lich king was a big one uh and that was where everybody like screamed and went oh my god don't release don't release <laughs> um and then uh what was it, what were some of the big bosses that you guys uh nerd screamed to uh know. for me it was uh i think our biggest one was back in cataclysm mm-hmm. uh Rag in Firelands. Oh, yeah. That was like the first uh, somewhat serious team I was on. And man, we worked on that thing forever. And it was it was right. a nice moment when we, whenever we finally got him down. Right. Uh, Darius, how about you? Because you had, think, some, you had I mean, some world first and stuff like that in there. Yeah, I don't usually scream too much. But I remember at one point, I, it was in Dragon Soul. It was like all track scene or something like that. It wasn't even in the end boss. And I remember just screaming over... Uh, I think it was yeah, it was mumble back then. It might have been vent at the time, but I called everyone a really bad word uh, <laughs> that I can't repeat on the show because I didn't know what else to say. I was just like burn, burn, and then I yelled it out, you know. And I was just so excited. <laughs> no, but, there, uh, there are so many times where you, where it's just where things get really exciting, and, and you just yeah. want to. You're you're finally at that last percentage point, and you're like, oh my god, let's just uh, kill him. So. Uh, Congrats again to Method. I mean, that's just a that's amazing stuff. So, uh, and congrats to actually everybody in the race because you know the especially like that top 10, 20, 50 guys, fifty teams. Um, amazing stuff to be able to blast through that content so quickly. However, uh, what are you going to do for the next ne- year now? <laughs> right? I mean, because we're going to have some time to wait. Apparently, so just a little bit. Well, I did mm, what. You what? didn't hear it from me, okay? But Blizzard's going to announce the next expansion at Gamescom. They are. Is that yes. it? Is it going to be yes. um, the Ashara uh, game expansion? Is it going to be that one? It's, it's going to be the Emerald Dream. It's going to be the Emerald Dream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't think they're going to announce the expansion. I think they're going to announce Time Walking Siege of Orgrimmar. Oh, that would be awesome! Oh yeah, because we didn't spend enough time in there. Exactly. <laughs> that would be great. Mm-hmm. I'd love that. Uh, but I, 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 or we're gonna get sanctumed. Either way. Oh, It'll that'd be, be nice. Emerald Sanctum. I really, really like that raid. Right. So right. No it's one just ever. it's all trash, no boss, and no no loot, no actual loot. So it's it's pretty good. I think we'll I think we'll all kind of look forward to that one as it comes down. I can't um, wait to go through Siege of Orgrimmar again. <laughs> <laughs> I that, missed it already. On top of time walking, S O O. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Uh, but up on the PTR, what we do know is that there is some stuff on the PTR, and uh, the thing that's up is uh, the flying patch, right? So we're going to have the flying patch come in. That's going to be that's the last announced patch for uh, Warlords. Uh, kind of sad, but they're also working on something else. Uh, for PvP, 
Yeah. And, hey guys, we're gonna fix PvP. So uh, Darius, why don't you tell the folks how they're fixing PvP? They're, they're adding PvP mercenary mode, which essentially allows you to queue for unrated battlegrounds in Ashran. And if the wait time is too long, they stick you on the opposite faction. Um, so if you're right. alliance, you become horde. If you're a horde, you become alliance. Right. Right. I you know <sighs> I don't know if this is really a fix. I don't know. <laughs> you can you can opt out of it, or you opt into going yeah. into mercenary mode, so you can become a merc for the other for the other team if you want, and then you'll be changed and do uh, a different race. So sorry, Halinka, but PvP is broken right now. <laughs> is it just race though? I mean, is it? I think it's everything. Just PvP in general is just in a bad spot right now. Giz, what do you think about this whole thing? Uh, I. <sighs> I guess it's a step in the right direction. I mean, I, I find it a very strange fix whenever I feel like uh, there's a lot of other things they could have done. This is weird, and I, I, I don't know. If yeah, I'm in a fight like alliance, this, I don't like a fight alliance. And I, and I understand. I mean, we're raiders, so we don't necessarily get all the little nuances about PvP and all this kind of stuff, and people always come yeah. down on us anytime that we t- open them up our mouths and say something about PvP. Uh, but, you know, it's... Get down with PvP! Get down with PvP. A little bit of that. Get down with PvP. Sure. Who's down with PvP? Uh, so we may not know everything about PvP, but I, I this is kind of more of a this isn't really a PvP thing. I don't think it's more of like a, a lore thing or a, a you know does this go into World of Warcraft or is this just kind of trying to make something work for now? It definitely breaks lore. Yeah. Um, not Lord, the Blizzard employee, but no, not him. Uh, it might no. break him. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a feeling this was like a feature they've had it. They've had it. it they've done had it for a while. Um, and things right. are just going so poorly in Ashram with the queues that they they kind of push this out. Um, it is meant little. to. It is meant to speed up the queues quite a bit. And um, it was kind of funny because uh, obviously we we're not big PvP guys, but um, over at the instance. Uh, Dills is a big PvP guy, and I know that he and Patrick kind of were talking about this this week. And one of the things that they brought up was the imbalance of players, uh, especially of top players, right? So, yeah. um, and uh, Dills actually linked this in, in Twitter, and so I'm going to show it. But it shows the best PvP players and races and factions for uh, players with a 2200 rating or higher. And human <laughs> is 54%. And then the next one down is Night Elf at 18%. Yeah, you'd think with 11 classes, you'd have a pretty good balance. But no, of everyone playing, 55% of people are right. human. Right. And then, the rest, and then the rest are Night Elf. And apparently, everything <laughs> else is under 10%. So, I mean, yeah. it's actually most of it's below 5%. So that's, that's just like heartbreaking, right? I mean, even as an Alliance player... You know, I'm glad that we uh, can kill a lot of horde. That's always nice, but can't kill them if they're if if you don't have the queue, right? So, so no. it kind of makes sense that uh, that uh, we'll be able to kind of switch factions around. I don't know if this is the best thing. Uh, well, I mean, so the reason the humans are so high is because of their trait, right? Uh, being able to get out of stun. So that's why I find this is a really interesting fix. Whenever I feel like it's about time they go through and do something with the traits. Yeah. Why not make it to where whenever you're creating a uh, character or whatever, you can select a trait. They have a list of traits you can pick. That way, if you're more of a PvE, maybe you can select a PvP-friendly trait. If you're a pvp you can select a PvP-friendly trait uh, and get rid of every pvp creating a human. That way, alliance queue times are forever. Right. That you can play whatever race you but, want, get whatever trait you want. And but then that, ru- then that ruins lore for everybody else. <sighs> Because, you know, you have the rocket jump, and how can that be for anything except for, you know, the goblins? And you have uh, the, the you know, going into a wolf mount, essentially, for for uh, the wolfmen. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know if there's, uh, I don't know, just do away with racials. Or make them like, hey, we'll give you a plus five to versatility. Because everybody really? wants that. Sure. Shadow meld, what's that? Nobody needs that anymore. You're fine. Because all night elves are playing druids. 
That's it. <laughs> or druids are rogues already. <laughs> so, so there. I don't know. Um, uh, now, uh, there's uh, there's another interesting thing though, because I looked up uh, the the PvP thing that I showed. That was from worldofwargraphs.com. It makes for good radio, by the way. Yeah. Well, that's why we talked about the numbers too, jerk. <laughs> uh, but but there there was also another one, and I don't have one for uh, video. But it was the PVE players, races, and factions for those guys that have killed like mythic bosses, any mythic boss, uh, yep. and it was basically mostly horde. So if you're a raider, you're playing horde. If you're a PVPer, then you are playing uh, alliance, most likely. So. What it looks like, yeah, and it's and it's weird because I mean I, I know that a lot of those top raiders are also PVPing, so so there we go. I don't know, just kind of weird. All right, let's move on to uh, the the uh, Comic Con stuff at the San Diego Comic Con. We know that we didn't get to see the video, and we were bummed out about it a little bit. But then I was, I was supremely disappointed in nerds. But, but then, Darius, you were... They came through. Yeah, they did come through. What happened? Uh, somebody leaked the footage from Comic-Con. They, they released a uh, you know, cell phone or whatever it was, footage, uh, shot at an angle with some really bad commentary <laughs> um, attached was, to it. It was horrible. It was horrible. We, guy, did, we, we did get to see it. So Yeah, the guy, and the guy was like, right next to the phone, he was like, I'm already not interested. It's just one big computer. This is Avatar. I'm like, no, it's not. They're green, not blue. Come on. <laughs> Number one. And and second of all, shut it, because I don't want to hear <laughs> your negative comments yeah. over this thing. And I don't know what you were expecting. It's orcs. Yeah, um, how are they, they going to do live action orcs? <laughs> yeah, I agree. How, how dare they use fake orcs? And they didn't even shoot in drain or. I what know. The <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're lazy. I don't get it. Again, it's, shooting in Canada to save money. Uh, yeah <laughs> it's canada drain or same thing like that's pretty much no one will notice pretty much it i don't know uh giz are you getting excited for the movie i am uh i i kind of wish in the trailer they would have showed a little bit more uh interactions with the humans right that way seeing the cgi verse or along with the live action yeah it seemed uh, it seemed pretty slow i mean the footage was definitely it was it was like trying to set up the problem right? yeah and so the orcs were, and it was just, it was four minutes of video, I think. And it, it, it yeah, basically wait. was just the orcs that I saw anyway. I think there was another video that was leaked and taken down almost immediately. Um, so it was just the orcs setting up the problem. It was kind of slow, kind of felt a little weird, but it looked great. Yes. I think it was, it wasn't a trailer or anything like that. It was basically just, here's four minutes that we think you're going to find interesting, but right. nothing, you know, it's not supposed to do anything except show you kind of what they're working on you know it's not a trailer it's not a teaser it's just some footage you know it's just to get you yeah, amped up a little bit and ready yeah. for uh for next year when this hits i mean we have a year until this thing comes out yeah. uh so yeah i don't think they're don't gonna, worry they're not going to do anything too fancy quite yet right they will bombard us with ads and trailers and all that kind of stuff you know starting this winter so there'll be no shortage of of things to look at i'm sure yeah i think uh once BlizzCon hits, then that's when we're going to start seeing trailers uh, and everything. Right. Well, we'll probably yeah. we'll probably see all the footage on the on the stream for BlizzCon because they've said that it's going to be November when all this footage is released, uh, or or something is released. So we'll definitely see stuff. I think we'll probably see it on the uh, BlizzCon stream as well as in BlizzCon itself and. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised stuff. during the keynote if there if there was wasn't just a trailer. Yeah, no, it's going to be trailer. It's going to be all the stars. It's going to be, you know, pushing the movie yeah. for sure. Because, right. you know, yeah, because, you know, the the World of Warcraft, you know, the actual game will still be in development. So for the next expansion, so they won't talk about that. They're going to talk about the movie, which is almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys watch any of the panels, too? Because, I mean, we they had like the huge cast come in 10 guys or whatever. Uh, come into these different panels uh, and it was I know they did one for uh, the Nerdist and then they did one for the con itself um, and it was just like was it too many stars probably <laughs> I mean they didn't 
they would ask somebody like a just like a half question. They'd give a two word right. answer right. and then move on. Right. But I was I'm a huge Travis Fimmel fan mm-hmm. of Vikings and stuff. Loved him in Vikings. Yeah. He just he did not seem interested at all during he, the pan. He would just uh, he would just you know like uh, mess with his beard. The yeah, and he's like, oh, I haven't seen any of the footage, so right. So I don't, I don't know. I don't even remember. Remember it. I was on a bender that week. Did you <laughs> whatever enjoy shooting the movie? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I did the movie. I remember doing the movie, but <laughs> I wasn't really checked fully in like for it. The the check hasn't cleared yet, so I'm not really <laughs> excited. <laughs> That's it. And Paula Patton, who uh, I I think. Uh, you know, she was talking about Garona in both the things that I witnessed, and she said the exact same thing. Ex- I mean, like almost exact, and yet made it sound new every time that she said it. So it was kind of really amazing. She's a good actor, you know. It's good actress, actor. They they prefer actor, I think. Uh, Female actors. Okay, because actress is just such a me. box. You don't want to be put in, into a box. They're an actor. <laughs> Uh, so, and Clancy Brown, sp- uh, spoke orc, which was great. Um, he just has an awesome voice. I don't know. I love him. Uh, and anything else on, on the con there, guys, are you, uh, ready to move on into some really cool stuff? Let's do it. Let's do it. And we're going to move into the Battle.net news. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Yeah, the Battle.net News. This is where we take a look at the big headlines from all the different games around Blizz. And first up, we're going to talk about Hearthstone a little bit. And I, I, hopefully you guys saw this. Uh, did you see this, Darius? Did you watch the live stream at all? Did no, I did ha- not. No. You did a big Hearthstone. Hearthstone. D- Giz, did you watch this at all? Yes, I did. All right. I did. Very excited for this. So, so uh, Giz, what is the next expansion for Hearthstone? So the next expansion is the Grand Tournament, which is kind of based off the Argent uh, Tournament. Yep. And it's a full-on expansion. Uh, like They're keeping the order they like to do, where it's an um, adventure mode, I guess, and then expansion adventure mode. Now it's another expansion. Over 130 new cards, I think, uh, along with a new card ability, which is going to blow people's minds, and it looks amazing. Well, it will definitely inspire them. Yeah. <laughs> what I say. So what's the new inspire mechanic there, Giz? All right. So for inspire, uh, what this does, it, it may say inspire, uh, heal a friendly minion for two health. It means every time you use your heroic ability uh, in a game, inspire is going to go off. So think of it as a battle cry, except for every time you use a heroic ability, inspires, or that's going to go off. And it pretty much is just putting a lot more power into heroic abilities. And it's going to, it's, I can't wait to see what it brings to the game. Well, and I know that everybody's been talking about how um, hero powers are one of those things that you play when you don't have anything else to play. And so that's the way that it is right now. I mean, there may be some strategic moves where you do that with, especially with like mage, uh, where you can, you know, take out a little minion, especially at the beginning, because, you know, it doesn't matter, whatever. Um, but uh, but yeah, so it's going to put more emphasis on the hero po- hero powers. And there's actually one card where you can like switch to a different hero power. Yes, so- it, it enhances the uh, so like instead of so for priest, instead of healing for two, it'll heal for three. Pretty what? much just adds one on. So well, and then there was was that it? Oh, that was it. It was the improved hero power. Yeah, that's right. So instead of two, it's three or for mage, it would be two uh, damage anywhere yep. on the board. So that's cool. That's cool. And I was trying to watch the stream, and I don't know if you, uh, since you watch it too, Giz, uh, we'll just chat. We'll leave Darius out of it for now. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I had nothing to contribute to this Hearthstone conversation. Well, well but, so the stream was kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were, it was. They were funny. streaming it, and it was just choppy and awful, and like it was all messed up and all sorts of slow, slowness. It was, it was horrible. It was horrible. But I tried to watch it. I tried uh, one cool thing that they are doing, yeah. and the reason I, I was never a big Hearthstone guy, but uh, another one of our hosts, Multizord, is a huge Hearthstone guy, so he's gotten me into it. But they are doing a special for, they're selling 50 packs for 50 bucks, which is a good deal. That's 10 more packs, I think, than you normally get if you buy, spend 50 bucks. So we're actually getting together 
and oh, all of us at a house. We're doing we're having a pack opening party, uh-oh. and and we're gonna set up a tournament, and we can only use cards from the pack. Oof. I don't know. But it's, it seems like a lot of the cards are goofy and they're like, oh, here are our new heroes that arrived at the Argent Tournament Grounds <laughs> and uh, let's play with these guys for a little bit. So it's going to be ogres and like different like different heroes than you would expect. It's definitely goofy. It's definitely fun, which is great because I think that's where Hearthstone really shines anyway, is in the, yeah. in the goofy stuff. Um, I love, have you seen the commercials that they've been doing? The, like uh, the, the announcement video and stuff like that? Yeah, or like they're having like uh like live action tournaments where they have like a human and ogre and stuff. They're actually they're hilarious. They're fantastic commercials. Team Five does a pretty good job. Mm. They do they do a great great job at uh, knowing exactly what the game is and what it needs, and it needs a sense of humor. So that's good. Uh so that was the uh, th- that was the big news in Hearthstone. And uh, while we were gone, there was some other news that leaked out that that I'm sure Giz you want to talk about as well. And uh, it has to do with uh, this guy, with the Skeleton King. He is now out. He came out this this week, right? Yes, so Leoric, he came out this last Tuesday. And everyone was super excited for him. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> and, and then <laughs> reality hit. <laughs> uh, he's, um, it's good to know his trait is not extremely overpowered like people thought, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. which was whenever he dies... He stays there as a wraith, and he has abilities that can slow people and decrease his death timer. And then when his death timer is gone, he spawns right back where he's at. Right. Um, but he's a warrior, supposed to be, I guess. And uh, he's just—he's a little too squishy. Uh, he feels really slow, mm-hmm. and I'm sure there's going to be a place for him. He, feel, he feels more like a Tyrael guy right now. He's never going to be a main tank. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know too much. I've only played like six or seven games with him right now. But the uh, Road to BlizzCon EU qualifiers are actually going on right now. So I'm excited to see if they have um, any sort of strats worked out where they're going to try and throw him in or if he's just going to kind of stay on the side. So it'll be interesting to see what they do, see if he's actually a good hero. Yeah, I I saw him uh, some when he first came out because I was like, like you mentioned, we were broadcasting the, uh, the hero stuff for the Kickstarter. And... Some people were picking Leoric, and I'm like going, he seems pretty squishy. He seems to be traveling as a wraith more than he's traveling as a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. People are like, oh, I come back when I die where I'm at? That's awesome. I don't care about dying. The other team still gets experience. Please stop running in and just dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the tough part. So, yeah. I don't know. It's But at least, you know, you get to go right to wherever you want. Mm-hmm. And uh, start it up again. Obviously, you don't want to go behind the wall or something like that, behind the turrets, and uh, get caught behind enemy lines or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, that's cool. And uh, uh, by the way, my favorite board in Heroes right now is uh, the Battle for Eternity. Yes, I that dig is. that. I dig that board so much. That map still, is so awesome. Uh, it it like never has a set strat for it. It's always uh, just reacting to the other team, mm-hmm. and I really enjoy it. It's uh, it's kind of critical decision moment whenever that first uh, first uh, objective happens, and it's it's fun. Gotcha, cool. Um, yeah, I I just really dig it just because there's team fights at like level four. It's, it's hilarious watching people try to hit each other when they don't have their <laughs> ultimate. They're like, "How does this work? I don't know how to do team fights now." Uh, so it's good. It's good. Uh, Darius, uh, I see your cat has joined us. Excuse me. Can I help you? <laughs> your cat is here. That's awesome. I don't know. She's uh, letting me know that this, this heroes and hearthstone talk is just is jibber jabber. Likes it. So she's coming to listen. It's jibber jabber. It's all jibber jabber. Uh, so let's talk some sports. Darius. You like sports. sports balls. You like sports. Yeah. Well, um, this isn't, this is, opposite of sports well it's sports it's about a sports caster uh let's talk about this for a little bit Darius. why don't you uh kind of introduce this story since you're into sports uh so back a couple months ago espn three uh and i think two. even espn two, two for a little bit showed um some heroes of the storm some of the uh um the heroes the of, the dorm of that the, the, yeah the heroes of the dorm tournament 
And a lot of people were angry about that. A lot of people loved it. Uh, but a uh, ESPN personality, uh, Colin Cowherd, he uh, he really did not like it. Um, no, no, <laughs> no, he did not. Yeah, he, uh, he spoke out about it um, quite harshly, and um, yeah. he has since left ESPN. Right. Uh, so just weeks, a few short weeks, or you know maybe a month or so. Um, he Colin Coward leaves ESPN and he was, you know, ESPN did a little short statement. Usually a short statement means, oh, he was canned. Yeah. <laughs> well, he originally said if ESPN ever forced me to cover that in reference to esports or do play by play, he would quit. Right. Um, so maybe they tried to force him to do it and he quit. <laughs> right. And instead of firing him, they were like, hey, you're going to cover esports. <laughs> Well, Colin was kind of a jerk anyway, wasn't he? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Giz, would you like to expand on that? <laughs> um, suck it, Colin Cowherd. Wow. <laughs> You're able to go off and around on us, so have fun not working at ESP anymore. Right. Uh, yeah. The things he was saying were absolutely ridiculous. It's not just that he didn't want to cast this. He was saying uh, the people competing should be locked in their mother's basements with the key thrown away. Right. And right. like, I mean, it was absolutely, absolutely absurd. But he was saying, I'm surprised he got away with it for that long. Yeah, it, it was ridiculous. So I'm, uh, and I know that's what he's known for to be kind of polarizing. And that's why he gets all the views and stuff, but that it was ridiculous. Good riddance. Thank you. ESPN. Right. Right. Well, and apparently Scottiani in the chat room, he says uh, that he was fired because of ethnic comments. Yeah, he makes a lot of which, poor life which, choices. Which is never good. I mean, you know, why come down on anybody for anything? Ugh. Especially, I mean, <laughs> for something... Oh, jeez. That's yeah. just bad, wrong, yeah. horrible. So, so we'll see you later, Colin. Hopefully you'll never... Hopefully, actually, hopefully I don't see you. Hopefully, yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> hopefully I don't see you. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah. Mm. See ya. All right. Uh, anything else that you want to talk about news or anything like that, fellas? Because we do have a couple of questions here. So uh, maybe we should just get to those. We've got mail. We do. And if you have a question about anything for us about rating or uh, sports personalities or movies or, you know, whatever, you can always just email us uh, and, and and we'll talk about it. It's convert to or you can call our raid line, which is 612 787 RAID. Uh, and first up, Darius, can you take this question? This is from the tweeters. This is mm -hmm. from Fernando Ferna 20. And he says, How many rehash bongos do you guys give patch 6.2? What has been the most fun aspect of Warlords? All right. So, bongos for 6.2, Giz. Uh, what do you have for us? Uh, I'm going to give it 6.2 out of 10 bongos. Uh, oh, that's very that's very <laughs> clever. Uh, I don't know. So for this expansion, really... I see what you did there. It's, <laughs> it's just been about the rating. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing... Well, first, I've been playing World of Warcraft since vanilla. Mm -hmm. um, but I've always taken breaks. I've been playing nonstop since Cataclysm. And it's it's getting a little little bit heavy, but I still love raiding. Love raiding with the convert to mythic team. Mm -hmm. But as far as the other stuff, nothing's nothing's really just grabbed me. I'm not a big Tanan fan. Uh, I hate the shipyard. Holy cow! Sorry, Darius. That's <laughs> <laughs> Darius' favorite. The shipyard. I, I I don't have it level two yet. It won't let me level it up. I don't know what's going really? on. But hmm. yeah, the the rating has been excellent. Yeah. Uh, I think that we can all kind of agree on that. Uh, Darius, uh, what do you think? How many bongos would you give it? And what's, uh, what's been good? I don't, you? I don't give bongos because those are related to fortune cookies. And, right. uh, I've removed all references to fortune cookies from my life, uh, oh per my therapist. So right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you say, uh, that's funny. That's funny. I, um, I mean, I really like, um, six two and warlords in general because I the, the things I do are I level to get to a hundred which was a ton of fun mm -hmm. and then I raid you know and the raids have been really really good I don't do pet battles I don't do a lot of the other stuff you know um, so I, I I don't notice that those aren't there and I, yeah I, I understand a lot of people do and those are missing but for me you know I, I enjoy what's in there I, I like Tanan I loved 
exploring it, finding all the treasures, uh, killing all the rares. I, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I had finished all of that. I found every treasure, killed every rare, got every exalted ref, all that kind of stuff. And I enjoyed doing it. Um, you know, I, I, I did almost, almost every night I did that with a group of a couple of people and we had fun doing it. Um, but, but the other stuff, you know, I, I hate the shipyard too. That's, <laughs> that's, that's awful. And the fact that it's related to a legendary, I think is a poor choice, you know, right. rating legendary related to a, a you know, a, a game like that. Um, but you know, the rating has been really, really good this expansion. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the stuff that I, I enjoy. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I- my whole thing is that I feel like um, Warlords was directed by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> and, and that's because, like, the beginning was so great. Like, you know, your leveling experience was so cool and immersive. And, like, you wanted to just go through this content. But you didn't want to plow through necessarily. You, you wanted to take your time a little bit and, and, and enjoy this thing. And I think a lot of people did. They really enjoyed the leveling uh, stuff and it, and there was so much promise and so much so many different possibilities for for the places that warlords could go and the rating was was good it was good yeah it's it's been good it remains good um but uh but i feel like you know after the initial process unless you were rating um it was everything else you just kind of knew where it was going after about two seconds and then yeah. it's kind of it it if if this is the end of warlords it's ending as a disappointment so we got shamalond <laughs> Shamalama yeah. ding dong yes he uh yeah. he was directing warlords i think i mean it just it just seemed like it was so cool for so many different reasons and then everybody just went mm. at the same time like a collective sigh just went out and some people I really, really some people really love the the entire expansion which is great um, but I think that there are so many more that are, are like, you know, garrisons were a misstep shipyards. Another thing that maybe not awesome yeah. <laughs> didn't add to anything. It didn't really build up the garrisons at all. It just said, Oh, here's something else. And, and so now it feels like, I mean, and I don't know what the dev team is going through right now, but it feels like the dev team is just trying to get out of, yeah. of like a, of a bad idea. Very much what it feels like. It's just like, oh nope, we're over. We'll we'll see you when we open up again later. Yeah. Bye guys. Oh, you want flying? Okay, sure. We'll we'll, we'll give you flying. That's fine. Uh, you know, some people are actually bringing up some good points in chat though. Yes. First off, the uh, the character model updates were fantastic. Oh yeah, loved those. Very and cool. then somebody also said that uh, this expansion has been a great experience for casuals. Uh, which I can definitely see. Yeah, I don't know for sure because mainly what I just do is raiding, but there is a ton of uh, stuff for people to do that don't raid. There's a lot of content like in Tanagan, uh with the garrisons, uh, with all the achievements and stuff and collectibles. So I can definitely see someone who doesn't raid uh, having a lot to do and enjoying it. So right, yeah, and and there is there is a bunch of stuff to do, but I think that as far as for raiders go, anything outside of raiding has just been nothing. It's been mm-hmm. it's been like kind of a chore or or kind of, you know, just kind of not holding our attention so much. At least that's the way that that, you know, as I talk with the people in the in the CTR guild and on the show, it seems to be kind of that that thing where they're not finding something outside of rating to do. And I don't know. I really enjoy the time walking stuff, too. Like going back and sure. doing those old dungeons has been a blast. But that's not current content. So, <laughs> no, but it's. It's still it's still part of six two. It's still sure. part of Warlords now yeah. and going back and doing it and not. I mean, you are powering through it, but you're not one shotting the bosses and that kind of stuff. I don't know. It's it's fun to to go through and do those. And it the fact that it is once you know you do it you get it for one weekend and then it doesn't show up for a long time really helps because if it was every day or having to do it every weekend that would really it would be a bummer. But going back and doing you know Gundrak once you know and and seeing it and then doing you know remembering oh there's an optional boss down here and going and doing that that was fun you know that was yeah i i I like that so oh there was a there was a thing i'm I'm gonna bring this up um but uh hold on one second because i i definitely need to share this with you it was kind of a comparison of all of the different um expansions right and this was uh probably from reddit (laughs) 
<laughs> not gonna lie, it was probably from Reddit, <laughs> but it but it kind of gives oh. out all the different uh, things that happened during the the all the different expansions, right? And, and so the, it was the, the image that shows like the dungeons and and raids, right? And so there were there were more raids in cat or Cataclysm, was it? Than there are dungeons for warlords. There were more. Wrath had more raids than Wrath. warlords had dungeons. Yeah, but. The Wrath raids, most of them were rehashes. They were literal, you know, <laughs> Naxxramas was literally the previous Naxxramas. The right. Ruby Sanctum was reused assets on one boss, you know, half of them, VOA, Trials of the Crusader, like they had, you know, nothing in them. Right. You know, Anixia's Lair had one boss in it. Um, you know, these, they, they weren't real raids. The, the raids in Warlords have been amazing. You know, they... Yeah. And I'm not I'm not shooting those down at all because I think that the raids have been pretty good. Obviously, I have problems with uh, the flexible moving from flexible raids into mythic, which I think people struggled with mainly because of recruiting needs. Um, But uh, but yeah, I mean, but it's kind of funny when you look at this and obviously it's meant for this graph is particular is meant for humor a little bit because and to show the stark contrast because they say like, um Cataclysm. Azeroth was redesigned. Two races, two battlegrounds. Archaeology. Tolbarad redesigned. Stormwind and Orgrimmar. And then for Warlords of Draenor, it says Ashran garrisons. Twitter integration. Selfie camera. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> greatest of all time. And I mean, don't, oh, and don't I forget agree. about Pepe. Oh my. <laughs> Pepe. 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 Pepe might be the best thing about Warlords outside of raiding. <laughs> I think there's still not- there's still a Pepe achievement um, yeah. that no one has gotten. Um, oh, what's which that? Is, it's uh, there's not any info on it. It just says like find Pepe as a pirate or something like that. And there's a hidden Pepe somewhere, or I think he's wearing a pirate hat. I, I, I'm not exactly sure. And you find him and you act with him and you get part of that achievement. And there's four parts to it. And when you finish it, you get um, you get the achievement. And I think you get an item from it. But no one has oh. figured it out because there's not many clues as to uh, where to find these Pepe's, because there are Pepe's all around uh, right. Draenor, just random ones that, that people just walk right past and never notice. Yeah. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is an achievement that no one has yet to figure out how to huh. do it. It's kind of a little uh, ARG in, in, in Warlords. Spe- uh, speaking of which, um, there was another thing that was discovered over the last week that was uh, probably just as important as discovering uh, Pepe in a pirate <laughs> suit or something. <laughs> And that is that you can get cats to sit in your lap in world yes. <laughs> in game by like clicking on clicking on your pet, clicking on your cat and it's only for cat pets and you you do a slash sit and your cat magically appears on your lap. <laughs> That's that is also important for raiders to know. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. It just seems a little silly. Like this has been it's been a we good just, expansion for a lot of reasons, and it's been a bad one for probably more. Yeah, in my I, opinion. I think all these little things they are adding could be fantastic right. if everything else was fantastic. But the fact that this is happening when there's been so many problems, people kind of think it's like a little slap in the face. Like, yeah, um, yeah, um, uh, Shyamalan, totally Shyamalan, right there. Um, anything, <laughs> anything else, <laughs> fellas? Because. Uh, we could probably. There was another question and said, uh, "Do you, Darius, still blame uh, Gizmo every time CTM convert to Mythic wipes because everyone blames the Hunter?" Yeah, usually, right? Yeah, right. Uh, it's either. Yeah, it's never Lucos's or um, it's never Tobo's fault because he carries most of the DPS. Right, um, but it's yeah, it's usually Giz or Lucos. Gotcha. Um, or you can't. Ever, it's never Envin because he's a nice guy. Um. So maybe if Giz learned from that, <laughs> you know, uh, I will admit, I hold that bottom uh, rung for the hunters. Somebody's got to do it. I yeah. <laughs> take that spot. But you know what? Even the bottom hunter is enough to uh, do the job that they're there to do, and that job is carry Darius through the raid. Right. <laughs> I'm still doing my job. It's all right. Right. You're doing all the mechanics of all the different fights because yep. you can move and shoot at the same time. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. So then they just put you automatically like on all the moving details because or detail because uh, you're lowest hunter DPS. So you do all the mechanics. Yep. 
that's that's the way to do it. Right. Yes. Giz does all the mechanics. <laughs> he does all the mechanics. All right. We're gonna get Wrong. the heck out, we're gonna get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys uh, so much for joining us today. Uh, oh wait, I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna play the jazzy music. Oh, you know what? Actually, I I don't want to play that quite yet because I have one more. I want to do one more. Uh, Kragmar and see what you guys think and and please let us know what you think of Kragmar because um, he was very excited. That's all I can really I mean email me and he's like I'm excited I want to do this thing and so here's another one we'll see what you guys think here we go Deep Thoughts with Kragmar <laughs> To me battlegrounds are like a ballet except there's no music, no choreography, and the dancers try to kill each other. This has been Deep Thoughts with Kragmar. With Kragmar. <laughs> that reminds know. me of Saturday Night Live skits. The, uh, yeah. Where he's sitting looking Deep in Thoughts the with Jack Handy. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, so... <laughs> So that's going to be it. Tell us what you think about Kragmar. And uh, if you have uh, other questions or anything like that, feel free to give us a buzz. Uh, you know the places to do that. Convert to raid at gmail.com. We've got the raid line, 612-787-RAID. That's 612-787-7243. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Convert to Raid. And Darius, you can also follow us individually, right? You can follow Pat Crane at Pat Crane with a K. You can follow Darius at Board Mine. And Giz doesn't know how to use a computer, so he doesn't have Twitter. Is that right? Is that no, right? I do <laughs> what, what's the best way, what's the best way to reach you you can follow me on twitter at gizmozord uh or our podcast lords of the storm at lords of the storm and lords of the storm is pretty cool you guys get really get into heroes and you talk about like individual heroes sometimes and and yep, give we, us the all the scoop on them and whether or not they're good or not right yeah we try and have a hero of the week and we uh we're just a group of friends getting together talking about heroes casually laid back style Nice. Um, so some people like that, some people don't. But check it out. See, right. if, uh, see if you enjoy it. If you like us talking about rating casually, or me rating casually, and those guys rating a little bit more hardcore, then <laughs> then I think you'll like that show. Uh, I know that I like it. It's it's pretty cool. Very informative. Very nice. Uh, and thank you, Giz, for joining us on the show this week. And uh, I don't know. Are there any, any other shout outs this week? Uh, actually, I, I want to give one shout out to you guys. So... Uh, oh. I started listening to the show back in Cato right before Mist came out. Mm -hmm. And this show is what kept me from leaving World of Warcraft uh, and playing other games. We're very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> other awesome games like Rocket League? What? <laughs> <laughs> but if uh, this is the first podcast I ever listened to, so if it wasn't for this show, I probably never, or I wouldn't still be playing, probably would have never played Heroes, uh, therefore never started a podcast. So thank you guys very much. Ah, well, that's very nice. That's very nice of you oh, to well. say, and we're, we apologize. Except for Darius. Yeah, I'm sorry. We, we apologize, as always, that, <laughs> that we're around. Um, all right. Well, uh, let's see. All right, you can also join us over at ConvertTrade.com, where we have tons of show downloads, forums, links for raiders, so much more audios, videos, uh, boy, like everything about the guild. There's so much over there. I don't know. Uh, it's all over at ConvertTrade.com, and I'm going to restart the music here right now okay there we go uh our live feed and video show is over at gamebreaker.tv make sure to watch like comment share subscribe and do other youtube things over there uh we're also live streaming on alphageekradio.com for those that want to listen live through their mobile device or roku or whatever uh the audio show again it's on the internet you should be able to find it no matter what yeah. uh and uh, if you have any doubts just go over to convertorade.com that's where you can find everything and that's gonna be it for the show Thanks, guys. We hope you guys had a good time out there. We had a good time here. And thanks for, so much for tuning in. We'll, sh we'll see you on our next show. And we're actually going to be moving times. Are we doing this yeah. next week? Yeah. Uh, not this Tuesday. Not the 28th, but no. the 4th? So August. We're already into Ooh. August. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so we're going to be doing Tuesday nights. We're going to switch up times. Tuesday nights, not Sunday mornings. It's going to yep. get weird, people. That's all We're I'm still going to release the show on Monday, though. We're going to release it the day yeah. before we record. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that sounds fair. That sounds fair. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, <laughs> uh, thanks, guys, for joining us. And for all the guys on Convert to Raid, bye-bye, everybody.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>